Hey, yeah, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick breakdown at the holiday break and quarterly report as most teams are between 25 to 30 games of the Buffalo Sabres led by Kevin Adams at GM and Don Don Granado at head coach, who I think has done a very good job with the Sabres team. I also really like the one kid that they have, Brett Murray, uh, watching him in Rochester, watching on AHL TV and covering AHL for Nitty Gritty. Uh, I feel Brett Murray's a very good big boy that can get to the net wall, skate solid for a guy 6'5", almost 240. A uh, good later pick at 99 in the 2016 draft. Um, That's a very good pick in the fourth round in my eyes. So uh, he's developing nicely. Colin Miller's always kind of been a steady Eddie defenseman. He's continuing to do that. <coughs> uh, Jacob Bryson's going through his woes and flows. Uh, but he's playing 19 minutes a night, which I think with this team, with the developing, you want to get guys like that again, a solid fourth round pick to just keep playing the minutes, let them go through their ebbs and flows. Uh, Rasmus Dahlin, nothing bad to say about him. Henry Okiaru, love that kid. That dude's dynamite, absolutely great on the defensive end, and obviously you can pass the puck a little bit too to get points on the offensive end. It has a solid shot, but he's not going to wow you offensively. Um, Will Butcher, I always thought was kind of an underrated defenseman with the Devils. He's not the best in the defensive zone, but I think if you can put him on the second power play, give him offensive time, uh, he can be that. And then Mark Pitsick is obviously a guy that's just a solid, steady defenseman as well. But the biggest, not surprise for this team, but pleasant thing to see for the Buffalo Sabres is Uka Pekka Lukanen and how well he's playing. Five games, one nine six nine three nine two and 2 Absolutely dynamite. Malcolm Subban was good at one of his two games, got injured in his other. And Dustin Kutkarski, 903-329. Yeah, 329 is kind of high, but I thought he's been solid this season. Um, went in for the Buffalo Sabres. So you have solid goaltending. The other thing is uh, Don Granado's had his players, <coughs> had been struggling, excuse me, in the past couple years. Like Jeff Skinner has 17 points, 9 goals, 8 assists. Isn't playing the best in the defensive end, but I don't expect Jeff Skinner to do that. Uh, He's actually putting a little bit in punch into the team offensively, which you haven't seen from Jeff Skinner in a very long time. Gagurzins is a good bottom line guy. Uh, Vinny Hina Stroza, uh, the former six-round pick, who's obviously had a good career for being a six-round pick, but he has 14 points in 30 games. He's playing good in Don Granado's system. So I feel like this team's pushing in the right direction. Obviously, they're a couple games away when they come back, if everything stays on track. 27th against the Islanders, 29th against New Jersey. So those are games they could win uh, when they come back. Then play the Islanders again on the 30th. Then the Bruins is going to be a tough game <clears throat> on January 1st um, at 1 p.m. Eastern on New Year's Day. But um, I feel like this team is definitely pushing it in the right direction. Obviously, the Buffalo Sabres are not a playoff team yet. But when you have Dylan Cousins, you got Alec Tuck the local area native, I thought that was a great move, um, that's like the Roslovic move to Columbus, where you bring in a local guy that's just going to be great in the locker room, really help guys to be able to gel into that town and that city, I think that's a great move, you got Tuck, you got Brett Murray, you got Victor Olofsson, um, you got guys that are developing down below as well, you got Ross Mastalian, Yoki Haru, Bryson, uh, Miller's a guy that's a good guy to keep around. He's a UFA after this year, so you might end up trading him, but also could be a good guy to keep around as you're rebuilding. A very good, solid, just anchor defenseman. Uh, R2 Ristulainen has also played 16 games this year. Obviously, you got J.J. Paterka, who's a great prospect. Peyton Krebs, great prospect. Jack Quinn, uh, dr- great prospect, excuse me. Even Linus Wybuck uh, might be able to come up and do some things. Matej Paka. Um, is a solid prospect as well. So I think you guys have a good developing team and things that are moving in the right direction. Matthias Samuelson, obviously a big guy, not the greatest skater, but a big guy that very solid defensively, kind of the Risto um, replacement there. But um, I think this team is pushing in the right direction. I would say they're two years away from being in a playoff spot. But who really ever knows? Um as the Buffalo Sabres right now sit at 10, 15, and 5 with 25 points and a minus 22 goal differential, 417 points percentage. But who really ever knows because, I mean, who would have thought the Anaheim Ducks at the break right now would be a top 10 team in hockey? But obviously, they have a little bit of more of a top-tier prospect. 
system before all these guys came up. But we'll have to see. The Buffalo Sabres, though, in my opinion, I would give them <clears throat> a solid BB plus grade for their season this far because their rebuild's building in the right direction. You got guys like Tuck, who's going to be great in your locker room. from the look where you need to keep Olsen around. You got Murray. You got Cousins. Uh, you got Darlene. You got Yoki Hardy. You probably got to end up trading Kyle Mill, but I just think he could be a good guy to keep around. Robert Hag also has had his moments this year uh, for the Sabres as well. And then obviously, again, you got Paterka. You even have Biro, who's a solid uh, good skater. Uh, Quinn. You got even McGinnis, who's a solid just AHL veteran if you need to call for depth. So they got depth, and then you got Makah, um, Paterka, Biro, uh, Rusalain, and Krebs is the top-notch guys there. Mateus Samuelson, Oscar uh, Laxanen, so, uh, Skari Laxanen, excuse me. So you got prospects down there. And Casey Fitzgerald picked up an assist in his first game. I feel like he's... Uh, a solid right-handed shot defenseman. He just doesn't get the respect because he's a little bit doesn't um, play with maybe enough spunk for because he's a smaller defenseman. But I think he could be a solid defenseman um, to have as a depth seven guy, maybe even a six more in the offensive passing end of things. But uh, he played good in his one game, so definitely think this team's moving in the right direction. I hope you all stay safe out there, Sabres fans, and have a good holiday season. Please continue to subscribe down below to help us get to our goal of 185 by the new year. And have a great Happy New Year and Happy Holiday Season, everybody. It's been a solid season building in the right direction with Don Granado's club and Adams club with the Buffalo Sabres. Hopefully it continues for you guys. you got some good prospects as well, and obviously some prospects um, <clears throat> that you can continue to watch with the Rochester Americans as they develop. I would think Peyton Krebs would be up very soon. And then Jack Quinn, obviously, as well. So we'll have to see what happens there. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe and enjoy the holiday season.